Hey guys, I know I look super crusty, um, but I just thought that you so weird. <laughs> I just thought that I'd take you guys, well, not along with me. <laughs> My husband is a freaking crazy. I thought I'd take you guys. Leave me alone! <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> I put it in the cupboard. I didn't use it. Um, sorry. Okay. I thought I'd take you guys with me um, for sermon prep. We are doing our first offering message, homiletics offering message on Wednesday. It is currently, um, it's Monday today, hey. It's Monday. Um, it's been a bit of a crazy weekend, so we couldn't really get to it, but um, we're getting to it now. So we have to prepare an offering message of seven minutes. Um, for Wednesday and I'm gonna take you guys with me um, when we're preaching and obviously it will be for marks because we're in Bible school so sermon prep my husband is in the other room well he's not in the other room now he's in the other room busy with his one um, but I'll check in with you guys later it's not gonna be a long vlog at all it's just the prep and then um, the preach on Wednesday so I'm so I feel so anxious for it I've preached before but like this is you learning how to preach and express and articulate and how to use a mic and all these things so and it, obviously it's for marks so it's not you just preaching it's like proper proper I mean preaching is always proper like you always have to be on point but I mean it's different this time around because we've learned now um, how to do things correctly and you have to implement that so that is what we're doing please subscribe to my channel um i've been doing a lot of vlogs i'm, I'm enjoying creating the vlogs so yeah i'll see you guys later maybe wednesday maybe later on we'll see how this whole thing goes <laughs> Hello my cubby, how's it going? It's good. I'm surprised it took so long to come out. <laughs> you feeling confident about Wednesday? I'm good. Are you? I feel like I've got a good message. I just need to put it all on the laptop now. Yeah, I changed my whole thing. Is it? Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh boy. I'm not looking. I know. <laughs> hey guys, so I am officially done with my offering preparation. Um, so excited for tomorrow. It's currently load shedding. I'm so sorry if the screen looks like this. But I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. My hubby is just busy with his now and structuring it. So see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. So it is Wednesday morning. It is the day of our preach. Morning, guys. <laughs> um, I'm feeling great. I don't feel anxious. I don't feel nervous. Um, but I know that when it's my turn to go up there, then we 
it's our name badges. In my, I think it's in my bag because we can't go up there without our name badges. No, I think I, I definitely put it in the bag yesterday. Yeah, guys, excited. We finished up our notes yesterday, as you saw in the clip with the load shedding. Um, and then we just made sure that we were on time because everything needs to be done in seven minutes. So Keegan preached to me and I preached to him. And I'll take you guys along with me for how that's going to go. Um, it's our first preach for mocks. We've come a long way. We've had a lot of um, unprepared sermons and speeches and thinking from the top of your head. So the day's finally arrived. And um, I'll see you guys at school. Hey guys, so it's almost time to go and preach. We have about five minutes. Um, I'm feeling excited. I'm also feeling a little bit nervous now, but um, I know that the Holy Spirit is going to speak through both Keegan and I. And um, yeah, I will take you guys with me. Um, when Keegan preaches, I'll record him, and when I preach, he will record me. So let's see how we do, guys. Catch you in the next slide. So the title of my message today is God is not a taker. God is not a taker. I know when someone gets up to get an offering, um, it's like he is going to take offering. But I want to, us to consider it as God is not a taker, but God is a giver. John 14. So let's read in John 14. Jesus here. He's meeting with the woman in the world. He says, if thou knewest the gift of God, should have brought lunch. So why is God telling me to give my peace to this person? And I refused up until I wrestled with God with that. I wrestled with God for, for a long time, up until like five minutes. Then later, I was like, you know what? Let me give it to her. And I took my piece of KFC. I gave it to her. Then I went and sat down. Then a few seconds later, she came to me. She said that she took a congregant as well and it could also just signify you you a bit unsure a bit nervous but you turn there i just quickly want to make a statement quickly is that when preaching the word of god you're actually performing not only uh i would say that you're performing a prophetic function when you are preaching the word of god because the word of god has the possibilities to become actually fresh the word of God is the possibility to become flesh in such a sense that everything that is written in this word of God can come to pass in your life if you attach it to whatever you are trusting God for. So let us quickly go to 2 Corinthians chapter 9 from verse 6 to 7. It says the following from... I trust that you are well. I trust that you are blessed on this beautiful Sunday morning. So without wasting any time, I'm just going to jump straight into it. Can you please turn with me to the book of 2 Corinthians 10? verse 4 to 6 and while you're turning there i want to tell you a little story so i think it was like last week he's offering and when christ died on the cross we received so many promises and benefits of that sacrifice we received healing from sickness and disease we received the power we received holy spirit we received prosperity and what I want to, the point, the question I want to pose to each and every one of you is, do you receive it? Because it's easy to read in scripture that Jesus did all these things and God did all these things for us. But do you believe it? Do that something is missing from there? I can refer back to my receipt. I can refer back to my Bible. It doesn't mean as Christians that we have to be poor. We have to claim this promise for ourselves. It needs to become a reality to each and every one of us. And I just want to give you the definition of a receipt. The meaning of receipt according to the diction. But to answer your question, you know the commandments. You must not commit adultery. You must not murder. 
you must not steal, you must not testify falsely, honor your father and mother. The, the man replied, I've obeyed all these commandments since I was young. When Jesus heard, when Jesus heard his answer, Malachi 3 verse 10, when he tells us we should test him on this, when he speaks about the tithes. The creator of the heaven and the earth, one that spoke everything that you see into, into existence, one that owns everything on this earth, he says test him. What do we do? We say, no, that church, they do this. That pastor, look at all the cars that he's driving. He's taking our money and he's living a luxury life that we are struggling. But you look at the scripture, what does God say? God says, test me. He does not say test your pastor, test your church. He says, test me. Because the relationship that you're thinking about is not your... I have to share this opening message with you today. And the title of my message is... God's nature is multiplication. So can you please turn with me to Genesis 8 verse 22. But before I go there, I would just like to lay a foundation for you or make an example for you. So we know that God is the creation of the heavens and the earth. So all that we see, all the nature that we see is what God has created. So let's take an... Okay, everybody, and there you have it. Everyone has preached. We've gotten our feedback. We've gotten our word. Um, a word out. How did you think you did, babe? I think I did fairly well. I mean, obviously, I got a few comments. We're still practicing. We can still be better, but I think I did fairly well. But my wife here was amazing, guys. Yeah, she's <laughs> a national. Saying, are you just saying that? No. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly, I feel like I did well. As soon as I got up there, I, I wasn't nervous at all. Um, so I, I don't want to toot my own horn, but. I got fairly good um, criticisms and remarks from my pastors, just small stuff to brush up on, but I'm feeling amazing. Babe, you did so well. Awesome, man. You did so well. I think well. my wife is just used to it. I think that that is where she's comfortable. That's her platform. The same way that she's doing this YouTube channel. I mean, that's what she's good at. Yeah, I think I've always had. Anyway, I've. Yeah, I enjoy speaking and teaching. Journalism. And I wanted to be a journalist. That was my dream. Um, and then God kind of different direction for my life. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed it. Um, I'll be vlogging our final um, sermon that we're going to be doing later on in the quarter. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful day. And just know that Jesus loves you. Thanks for watching.